Could we run everything on renewables? Solar and wind energy are basically infinite and much cheaper to generate than 20 years ago, but they rely on nature's schedule, aren't always available when we need them, and can't yet meet our growing and constantly changing energy demands. That's why many countries still use fossil fuels to plug the gap, but there are cleaner ways. Some could rely on a steady stream of hydropower. Others could even add geothermal energy by tapping the earth itself for heat. But for everyone else, if you don't want to risk relying on current nuclear power or wait for nuclear fusion to be developed, we need to find ways to store renewables for longer. Luckily, we're learning how to turn excess sunshine and wind into tomorrow's power. We can store energy by pumping water uphill when we have extra and let it flow back down when we need the juice. We can transform it into hydrogen, made by splitting water into its basic parts for fuel on demand. Or we can use batteries to help battle power fluctuations and keep our unpredictable supply and demand in balance. Once we get all these solutions working together, we can finally leave fossil fuels in the dust.